Well, I think, you know, one thing is spacing, you know, was important. Um, I, I think any really, really great shot blocker like that, and I think we have one in Surge, I think the one thing that they do a great job of a lot of times, it's off the ball, so having awareness and recognition of where he is. But I also think when you go down the lane, if you're thinking about him while you're shooting the basketball, you're... He's just as effective, even though he may not be blocking the shot. So I think if you're going to go, you got to go. But most of those great shot blockers are really good off the ball where, you know, they can come from the help side. And I think if we can space and do a good job of reading defense, hopefully you know, we can put ourselves in a position where, you know, we're maybe eliminating some of that from him. Russell seemed to think that having surge every day in practice maybe helps your team. You know, you always basically yeah. have a shot blocker around. I, I think sometimes that, that can be true. You know, surge is, is great at challenging shots. I think one of the things that's happened probably during surge's career, especially being at the power forward spot, is because a lot of the NBA has gone to smaller four men, and now it's a lot of four out, one in. You know, or sometimes five out, you don't have those presence at the basket all the time. But when we slide Serge to the center spot, you know, he can still get in there and, and kind of impact shots and do some of those things. Are you approaching a point with your offensive efficiency where it's kind of where you want it to be? I mean, the other night you lost the game, but you scored 100 points shooting below 40%. Well, I think the other thing, too, is sometimes you, you lose, you can lose sight of, of scoring that many points and you lose sight of the amount of possessions. You know, I think one of the things that we did is it was probably a, a game in a while that we hadn't really gotten the ball to the backside, and we've been doing such a good job of that. I thought against Atlanta, we really were trying to attack the first side, and the ball's going to need to get back. And, you know, I, I don't think there's necessarily a correlation of how many passes you make as it relates to shooting percentage, but when you get the ball to the other side of the floor, to the backside, I do think you can get better quality shots. So I think you want to move the ball with a purpose, but if we're attacking, we got to look at the other side of the floor. And I think we've been doing a really good job of that game against Atlanta where we maybe got away from that a little bit. This is getting the ball.